grab this opportunity and there is a huge opportunity i think in every domain only we need to reskill ourselves it is not only uh, learning it is learning with lot of opportunities you must aspire from some uh, foreign languages some other short term courses i think that will lead your life in a positive way have that idea look for that idea take your time to find that idea maybe you will choose the wrong goal maybe you will choose the wrong line to begin with it happens you put your life ahead of you but have a plan b so you made the right choice you've chosen certain disciplines whether it is bba bca media science etc but what is most important for all of you regardless of what your core curriculum is please understand that today's world runs on technology and i'm not saying this because i am an it professional uh, that is the fact of life there is nothing you do today which does not run on technology you have made your way to this noble institution through your bent Now a little bit of negative comment. Your admission to Heritage, your being in Heritage, certainly talks about your being very good. But that should not make you feel that you are the only very good. There are many other very goods. who could not have the privilege of having the education that you have got the support that you have got from your parents so they are left out madhyamik uchcha madhyamik ke ek dhoroner teaching point ek dhoroner studying point most of it is based on mucking up things basically because you you may not understand much and nobody cares whether you understand or not but have you remember things and can you recall from now onwards that will not be the case from now onwards you must make your own study habits <laughs> one 
Once on LinkedIn, you make a profile trying to research which job is a high paying job. At this moment, there are few technologies which are very high paying like cyber security, AI, ML, right? These are the ones which are in demand. Go to the groups. LinkedIn has groups, right? Go to the groups. It can be Facebook, it can be LinkedIn, wherever there are good number of people. Suppose you want to target a particular CTO or an HR head of a company, maybe Google. Now see which groups this person is affiliated to. He will also be subscribing to some groups. Go to that groups and start writing something on topic which is hot in the market. Or see what he is interacting over. If you get two likes from that person, you are already standing out of the crowd. How patriarchy can sometimes look feminist? That is to say, how patriarchy can sometimes look and sound and feel like they are feminist, therefore women, but they are not. A lot of people have said it, I am here because I do have a daughter. Now that sounds wonderful, that sounds wonderful and here I am telling you that it's not. It's not wonderful to say that I am here protesting because I have a daughter. Because when somebody says I am here protesting because I have a daughter, what I'm hearing is if I didn't have a daughter, I wouldn't care. Is that a valid position to have? It isn't. So therefore those who are saying that I am here because I have a daughter, it sounds great, but it means something absolutely horrible. What it means is that in order for us to understand what is happening to a stranger, I will have to then somehow relate it to my own private life.